Hi friends, I'm Gina with Country Family Values and I'm glad you're here. Today we're doing stuffed Mexican cornbread. Before we get started, I wanted to give a quick shout out of gratitude to my subscribers. We all need some support sometimes or some encouragement and you guys have been mine, so thank you. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is heat up my oven to 400 degrees and then I'm going to mix a batch of cornbread. So you guys can make it the way that you want to or you can follow along with me. Either way is fine. So I have a cup of, of cornmeal, a cup of flour, a fourth a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of salt and four teaspoons of baking powder. I'm gonna get my dry ingredients to stir real quick. Mix those together. Two eggs. Fourth cup of oil or four tablespoons. And a cup of milk. So you want to get this mixed ahead of time so it has time to sit and just kind of rest a little bit while you're cooking the rest of your stuff. All right, we're gonna let that rest. So the first thing I'm gonna do is brown some ground beef. Mine comes in two pound packages, so two pounds is what I have, but you could use one pound instead if you prefer. I'm going to wait a little bit to add my onion and seasonings and stuff to see whether or not I need to drain this. And you guys, if you need to drain your beef after you get it cooked, then I would encourage you to do that. While that's still browning, I'm going to add a cup of cheese. I'm using a cheddar cheese in mine. I'm mixing that into my cornbread mix and I have a chopped jalapeno. You can, if you don't want yours as hot as the, that, you can use, you know, a pickled version or um, leave them out. I like them for the color, plus it, it gives it a little bit of a bite. Ooh, splattering it. So I've got this drained. And now I'm going to use a package of taco seasoning. I'm using a mild one, but you can use hotter if you like, or your pre preferred brand. I'm using homemade tomatoes that's kind of like Rotel, it's um, made like that. So you guys can use, the equivalent would be a can of Rotel. You guys might like yours to be chopped up a little bit smaller. I think if I was buying the Rotel instead of using what I already have on hand, I'd probably get the petite ones, the chopped tomatoes and veggies and stuff. When you're making it from scratch, <laughs> that uh, is a lot of work, I guess, and I kind of get a little lazy sometimes. I'm going to use about a half a can of corn, Ooh, a little bit more, and to be honest that is drained and a lot of times when I use canned veggies I do drain and rinse them because in you know reading about nutrition and stuff like that you know I found that a lot of times there's hidden salt in that and we already usually most people get a lot of salt in their diet already and that could be one way that you could cut back on that. This is a can of pinto beans. I usually do use the black beans 
but I did not have any on hand, so I'm going with what I got. But I will probably put the black beans in the in the list of ingredients. This is an onion. Chopped up. This is a tablespoon of garlic minced up. Mine comes pre-minced, and I really like that. I'm going to go ahead and add another tablespoon. I really like garlic. And it does have a lot of health properties, so I like to put it into things that the flavor goes well with. So I'm going to mix that up and let that cook a little more. And this is green chilies, and I have drained those. Since this is two pounds of meat, I am going to use a second pack of taco seasoning. Okay. Turn this off. So there's a couple of ways you can do that to do this. If you have a really large skillet like mine and you want to just pour the mix over the top of it, you can. I mean the cornbread mix. Or you can use a 9 by 13 and put half of this in the bottom and then pour the rest on the top. You could definitely do that over the top of your mix. I, because I have do have this large cast iron skillet I'm just going to pour this over the top but feel free to do it the other way if you prefer okay so now I'm fixing to put it in the oven and it will take about 35 40 minutes or until it's getting golden brown just kind of to your taste on as far as that goes um yeah okay so we'll get back with you in just a little while oh, the smell of this is making me really look forward to this it smells so good mm. that's really good yeah, that's really good. And you guys could definitely um, pair it with things that you use for other um, Mexican type dishes with like sour cream, some fresh onion, tomatoes, lettuce, stuff like that. You know, it's really good. You guys should give it a try. Be kind to one another. Thanks for watching.